a lot of us think that this is a beautiful place. We want to keep it that way for generations to come. Back in October, the Quay County Commission gave their unanimous support to the Department of Energy to drill a borehole a few miles outside Naravisa. But many residents say that support never existed. They went to our county commissioners saying that they had community support up here and they didn't. And that is one thing from what I understand with this project in phase one, they've got to have community support and they simply do not have it here. That's been made clear at recent meetings where residents have protested the project. Who does not want it? Raise your Okay, guys, do you hear this? Do you all hear this? Intercon, the company in charge of the project, says this is just to see if the area geology can support the storage of nuclear waste. People are afraid that if they allow this project to happen, that there's going to be terrible consequences for them. We know there's no nuclear waste that's going to be involved in this project or coming back to this particular site. Most Naravisa residents find it hard to believe that if the project works, it will be abandoned as they're told. There's a little thing called eminent domain. And what you all effectively are doing if you go through with this feasibility project is you're handing the DOE a gun and you're giving them the bullets. There are also fears of contamination as they would drill into the Ogallala Aquifer and the devaluation of land in a community dominated by ranching. Who's going to finance a ranch that's uh, close to a nuclear, nuclear waste disposal site? But despite all the negativity, there is a small minority that wants the project to happen. Elaine James and her husband think the science and research behind it are fascinating. They plan to lease their land to the DOE for drilling. Legally, what happens on our private land can happen as long as we approve it. And that's not an issue that they are comfortable with. They want to be in control. But there were enough people who pledged they are against the project that the Quay County Commission rescinded their support Monday. But that fight on both sides does not end there. And I know compared to the world, we're a, we're a small drop in the bucket, but it ain't much, but it's ours.